Morning everybody, the dude from Skims here, www.harrysmooth.com. Well, I know I haven't been around in a while, haven't cranked out any new YouTube rants or raves, and thought it was about time I sat down and just got a few things off my chest, you know? I mean, I'm not real pissed about anything, but just life in general just blows me away. Everybody killing everybody, these kids going in school, shooting other kids. What the fuck is this world coming to? Well, to me, it all boils down to parenting. You betcha. It's not guns. How idiotic a concept is that? A fucking gun kills people. No. People kill people. I mean, you've got to have a few screws loose to pick up a gun and walk in a school and murder, senselessly murder, children. Or anyone for that matter. But, it again, it comes down to parenting. We do not parent anymore. We don't have the hands-on approach. We don't notice things. You cannot sit there and tell me that the mother of these kids that are going out shooting other children and other people did not see any signs that anything was wrong. Bullshit! If she didn't, or if the parents did not, they're blind. Or, as most people in this society, they're not paying attention. If she had gone, I keep saying she, I, I keep referring to it's a mother, the mother and the father, if they had walked in the kid's bedroom once in a while and checked things out, they might have seen a little something. I mean, he probably had pictures he had drawn of, of people murdering other people or gutting some person or, you know, a, a, a exorcism or a demon cutting and gutting another human being up on a cross or something. They'd have saw something. If they'd have gotten into his computer and looked around a little bit, or maybe looked through his drawers, checked things out a little bit, but no, that would be an invasion of the little darling's privacy, wouldn't it? Yeah, right. Too many parents want to be their kid's best friend, and not a parent. By God, I was all up in my son's hemoglobin, let me tell you that right now. On a regular basis, I would check out his drawers, I'd look through his computer, I even had a goddamn key logger on his computer where it would log every single thing he typed into it. And I monitored it. That is the best way to stay on top of what's going on with your kid other than simply observing and talking to them. Any parent that sits down and talks to their children regularly will see patterns. You know what I mean? Patterns. When that pattern changes, something could be up. When you start seeing the kid maybe killing lizards and birds and gutting the neighbor's dogs. Might be a clue. Never know. But you gotta look if you're gonna find. Okay? Well, you know, everybody's going off on this gun control shit. Ban assault weapons. Ban this. It's just another way to take an another right from us. Second Amendment right to own and bear arms. You're not going to take that away from us, government. Not going to happen. <laughs> not by me, anyway. Maybe some of you other sheep out there, but not me. I'm a wolf. I am not a sheep. Well, either way, these parents are either overprotecting or underprotecting their kids. I see it every day in my shop. A few years ago, when Schneider, my dog, was just a, a pup, you know, I had a lady come in with these two little hellions, putting their hands on everything in the shop, you know, running around touching this, touching that. They were going to break something. I said something to the lady. She didn't do anything. So a couple of minutes later, I hear Schneider yelp. And he comes running around behind the counter, and his little lip is bleeding right here. One of those little bastards had kicked my dog in my shop. That's right. And when I confronted the lady about it, you know what she said? Without skipping a beat. Oh, yes, he does that. Excuse me? He does that. Yes, he does that. He kicks our dog at home all the time. 
<laughs> really? You remember those signs I was talking about previously? There's one for you. Well, I proceeded to let her have it, told her what I thought about it, and kicked her out of my store. And you know what she said to me? You're an ass. <laughs> I'm an ass. Alrighty then. Well, either way, I don't know what to say about any more about that. So moving on along. I mean, I mean, I, I can't move along. These kids are either overprotected or underprotected. I mean, like these kids, you know, they 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 have to go out with their bicycle helmets on and oh, don't do this, don't do, you know, let the kid be a kid. Common sense is not something you're born with. It's something you learn. And you learn it from what? Scars! That's right! I mean, you can put your fucking elbow pads on your helmet on these kids and send them down the in through the neighborhood puttering around. Hey! If they fall, they ain't even gonna know it! They're too padded up! What are they going to talk about when they get older? They're not gonna have any stories! Well, this scar here, I remember, was when I was... You know, you can't win. What are you going to say? Anyway, oh, I, I'm at a loss on that one. Oh, Ex-wives. <laughs> How does that tie in somehow? Ex-wives. Never mind. That's a whole nother rant. Anyway, I hope you all have a great day today and a better one tomorrow. Your old pal Harry Smooth. We gone.